Every night on the news and in the morning newspapers, you're hearing that Barack Obama is promoting the biggest tax increase in history. It's not true. We have a measure of how taxes are going up or down. It's been in place in Washington for years. And using the official standard measure that both parties have relied on, Barack Obama is putting in place the biggest tax cut in history, bigger than the Bush tax cuts. How can that be? How can the news have it all wrong? Well, when the Republicans were in office, they put in place temporary tax cuts. They had sunset provisions. Now, you will hear people say, well, that they couldn't get a permanent tax cut because of the Democrats. Well, do you remember that the Republicans at one point controlled the White House, the House, and the Senate, all three levers of government, and they didn't make their tax cuts permanent, which means there are huge tax increases coming beginning January 1st, 2011. Obama is proposing $2 trillion of tax cuts. Had the Bush cuts remained in place, there would have been $3 trillion in tax cuts, but they weren't. And why didn't the Republicans make these cuts permanent? Well, first of all, they knew they were not sustainable. Half of the total federal debt was run up in the administration of George W. Bush. Secondly, guess what? Telling people taxes are going up and you want to promote tax cuts is the best way the Republicans know to raise money. So keep in mind as you watch the news, Barack Obama is promoting the biggest tax cut in American history, not a tax increase.